Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas. And today I'm going to give you a quick hack on how to clear space from your hard drive by deleting some render files in your Final Cut Pro. Let's get it! So, yes, yes, yes. In this tutorial, I want to give you guys a hack. Especially if you're using Mac and Final Cut Pro 10, you know. And especially if you're editing 4K footage you know that the hard drive space can get pretty, pretty uh, filled up quick. And I'm even using, I even use a Samsung T5 solid state drive. I edit off that. However, still, if we load up Final Cut, well, first I wanna show you something real quick. So first, <coughs> really Carter, go to utility. I tried to take a shortcut, but I'm gonna show you where we at. This utility. And right now, my Mac has a terabyte that I edit off of. So I've used 594, and I got 430. Still, I use, I edit off my hard drive. And this is the solid state drive I was talking about. I highly recommend the solid state drive to edit off of so you don't get any freeze ups or hiccups. And that's my other hard drive there. But I wanna show you what we got going on. So remember this, guys. All right. I'm going to load up Final Cut. I have Final Cut loaded right here. As you can see, I am a pack rat. And I don't like deleting projects, especially if I know that some of the settings are saved that I use on other projects. So, check this out. But if we go up here to Untitled, and yes, I named my library Untitled. It says, look, Macintosh hard drive is 437. This is all render files and files that have been deleted and whatnot and you know it becomes a big cluster and you're ending up using space that you can use you know like this is this is space that's not needed so i'm gonna show you a hack right now so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to hit up here where it has the four star dots i don't know what it's called and we're gonna come to file and we're gonna go to delete generated library files now be careful here okay it's going to ask you files will be it's going to tell you actually it's going to tell you files will be deleted from all locations both inside and outside the library so this is our library right here we're going to do delete render files don't hit all because that's going to be bad you know obviously you're still editing projects and stuff but click unused only okay it okay so any projects you deleted and you know stuff you're not using no more it's gonna get rid of that render files and look how big of a difference it's gonna make I'm gonna load up Final Cut Pro 10 again look at that we are 338 that's a hundred gigs saved given to us off render files we already completed in the past and we're not using no more so that's it. That's my hack for you guys today. So I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, please smash that like button for you. And I hope I was able to tell you something you didn't know that can help you out in the future. If you want to see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials and filming hacks and tips and tricks, please hit the red button. Subscribe to this channel right now. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See you.